Park. The Milwaukee County Correctional Facility South has become the House of Correction again. Late last night, Sheriff David Clark relinquishing command of the complex to a county board appointed superintendent. This has been a long battle. The new HOC head spoke exclusively to our Chip Brewster on his first day on the job. Chip is here right now with that. Chip. That's right. It was a long, busy first full day for the new head of the House of Correction here in Franklin. He tells us he spent most of it meeting with his new staff, but there are already changes in place and more to come. It's something you'll see only on Fox 6. I went through the building because it was the first time I was able to get into the building. Tuesday was Michael Haifman's first full day as Milwaukee County House of Correction superintendent. This despite being hired back in March. It's a transition which had been blocked by Sheriff David Clark. However, he showed signs of giving up his fight over the weekend as nearly 800 inmates were moved between the house and county jail. I think a lot of the inmates that were sent here were inmates that were probably going to end up here. I mean, the, the whole idea once this became back as a house of correction and their superintendent, and the intent was to house inmates here who are sentenced to a term in the house of correction. Haifman, who has spent more than 30 years working in corrections, wasted no time diving in. Several small changes have already taken place, including the elimination of neutral loaf, a type of prison food used to punish inmates. Philosophically, I don't think it's necessary. I mean, if, if there's a case where an inmate can't get a food tray because of behavior, we'll deal with that with what we call a bag lunch. They'll get a sandwich, you know, and fruit, and that's what they'll be eating. And if, if they misuse the bag, then we'll just hand the sandwich to them on a napkin. While small changes will continue, Haifman is working on two big readjustments. The first, restoring a number of beneficial programs for inmates. There's nothing wrong with having inmates here giving the opportunity to get their GED or to, to attend an anger management session, programs that have been proven to work, so we call evidence-based. The other, bringing back electronic monitoring. The other thing we're looking at, and probably as early as next week, is if those inmates qualify for electronic monitoring, putting them on electronic monitoring. And Haifman doesn't have an exact number of inmates that will go out on electronic monitoring. Rather, he says anyone that meets the stringent requirements for that kind of supervision will be granted it. He says, for instance, if only five inmates meet it, there will only be five. If 300 meet it, there will be 300. Reporting live in Franklin, outside the House of Correction, Chip Brewster, Fox 6 News. Chip, did he say what those requirements would be? Did he expand upon that? He went into some detail, but said that he still has to look at that throughout the rest of the week. You know, he's just really dipping his toe into the water here. But among them, that they uh, have a certain criminal history and that they have a house and a job to go to. Very good. All right. Thank you, uh, Chip. Thank you very much. Ready to fight. That's what former workers at Deaconess Home Health say. Some of them.